Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I have a video for you, and it's a little bit crazy. It's a little bit disjointed, perhaps, at the beginning. I was recording yesterday and working on the jelly plate again. I'm trying to learn new tricks and share tips from that. It is a process. Most of it was very mediocre, I'll be honest. And then at the very last, I tried a technique that I saw on an art professor's channel. I will link her channel. I totally have to give her credit. I would have never thought of this on my own. So I tried that at the very end of the video and it was so amazing. I want you to see that for sure. When I stood up though to take my camera down from its little holder there, it wasn't recording and I kind of panicked. Uh, I didn't worry too much about losing that mediocre stuff, but I wanted you to see the mushroom that turned out at the end, and thankfully it did get enough just to show you that page, and then it ends abruptly. So let's see. It's mostly mono printing, which I believe is just printing with one color. When you watch this video, I mostly just want you to see the potential and see how much fun this is, and maybe it'll show you one more thing with the jelly plate. There's so much that you can do. And I will link also the channel that goes with the type of jelly plate that I have. They're always coming out with new ideas for your jelly plate. Okay, um, is that everything? So here's the video. I like that, oh my gosh. Can you see the potential in that? Dang, I'm definitely gonna link that channel because I cannot take like I said, we're doing something really specific. Maybe I didn't use the word specific, but I think I said mono printing. This is something that I definitely did not think of on my own. I'm gonna link the channel to the art professor and we're gonna get started really quickly. I've got a place to roll the paint off of my brayer and wait, so we just did the brown. I wanna try a different color and we're gonna try mushrooms again with some different colors. So she took, I don't know, maybe a cloth that didn't have lint on it or whatever and put it on her finger. And then on the brown mushroom or the brown page, I really like the way that kind of curled up for the base. And then I'm just gonna go across this way, maybe round it a little bit on top. This is just so easy. I wanna get a stiffer brush. This one feels pretty stiff and make more definite marks under there. I just thought this was so amazing because the marks are gonna be, they're gonna be much more defined on the paper than they look on here. And you might be able to figure out kind of what I'm doing. I was thinking about making journal pages. So if I keep the mushrooms in the corner, if I keep the mushrooms in the corner, I would be able to fold. So, Let's see, mushrooms, I think, I feel like we would want more of a, like a, mm, that might be too, too much, but you know where the mushroom actually, where the stem actually meets the top of the mushroom? Okay, and then, okay, what color do we want to do the little dots with? I might use a bit of orange. That's what I love about working on this placemat, and I'm, little by little grunging up this fabric behind. So using the end of the brush, oops, and I see something I shouldn't have done probably. I probably don't want to get down into the under part, you know what I mean? So let's see how this turns out. This is a little, this is like this is not mono printing exactly. We're using two colors. I think this is photo paper, honestly. But we're gonna, or maybe it's, um, I don't know, it's kind of a glossy paper that was in my stash. But I wanna see how this turns out. Oh my goodness. It is sticking like crazy. Okay, so we don't wanna use this paper. It must be something in this photo paper that just makes it really stick. But look at this. That is so adorable. Look at that. 
I love that, but I'm not gonna use that kind of paper again. That was not good. What would be a shape? Maybe a tree? What would be a shape that we could do mono printing with? Let's go ahead and just stay with the blue. I wonder if we added a little bit of pink across here for sky, like a sunset or something. For the tree, what if we just took, okay, we need to make little slender blank space at the top and get thicker at the bottom here. And then if we took, hmm, maybe more of the pink, that's actually really pretty. Let's put some right here. And if we took the brush on this and made like blossoms or whatever, let's just try it and see. You know what? I have this paper that I kind of stained in some leftover green water. Let's try this. I love this process. This is so therapeutic. I see a lot of potential. I didn't leave enough white space to really define the branches. So, um, yeah, let's don't add any sky this time. Let's just... Make sure to have clear branches. Maybe make it bigger. So then if we do this, well that's putting, let's, let's clean that up. Let's try again. And first, let's add, let's try not to cover up our empty space. A little bit of the pink. Let's try that, and let's just get a, a white sheet of paper for that. That might make a big difference too. Curious to know what this will look like. Okay, again, potential, but it's not as dramatic as the mushroom. I wonder if we had, um, Well, I just don't know. I'm not going to mess too much more with it right now because I definitely have to move on to something else. But I hope you can see the potential in this mono printing like this. The mushrooms are really the most dramatic thing I've seen so far. I hate to stop all this fun, but I definitely have to get some things in the shop today and get some orders to the post office. So I'm gonna just wipe off this jelly plate a little bit. I'm not gonna be as fussy as I used to be with it, but we're gonna clean up the desk and I'm gonna be back really soon.